What is going on? Diamond Rice here coming at you with another tutorial. Today we're going to be showing you how to do MSI Afterburner and Reva Tuner. Now this is particularly just for showing the GPU usage, the CPU usage, the graphs, the frame times, FPS, frame rate, all those kinds of things. I am going to be doing an in-depth tutorial on MSI Afterburner at another later date. But for now, we're just showing you how to show the UI and the U uh, basically on the on-screen overlay that you see on some games. And as well as in my benchmarking videos that you have seen before. So what you hear, this is MSI Afterburner, this is Reva Tuner. Now I am currently updated this to 4.4.0 beta 12 for MSI Afterburner, and then Reva Tuner is 7.0.0 beta 26. Now you must have both of these installed in order for the software and the on-screen overlay to work. Now this particular versions need to be updated as well to, in order to have support for the UWP Windows 10 store, uh, store application. So. All those games like Gears of War 4, Forza Horizon 3, Forza 7 that just came recently came out, and as well as any other UWP programs as well. So what you want to do here, this is my this is my MSI Afterburner. So you click the cog icon. So go ahead, you click the cog, go ahead and look at the settings. This is under what you want under, and this is monitoring. Now this is what I have set per graph and per chart that you want. So as you see, I have a couple check marks between power, GPU temperature, the second GPUs, core clock, memory clock, frame rate, frame time, CPU temperatures, a lot of different options for you to use. So you can go ahead and click as many as you want and you just go ahead and click which one you want. So you click a check mark here it's in the left hand side and then uncheck it if you want. And then under here, as you see, I have this one set to GPU temperature in OSD. So OSD meaning the on-screen display layout pretty much. It's, short, it's a shorter hand version of saying it. So on-screen display layout and on screen display make sure this is check mark make sure that is check mark so it allows you to show on the actual on screen display otherwise this will not work at all now the on screen display layout changes per per particular option right now now MSI Afterburner actually did change their layout a little bit so you can actually change what you want for the actual on screen layout so classic modern modern mono whatever you want to do per your particular option and then obviously, uh, that's just mostly for if you want to change the text colors or anything. If it's a classic version, you can just change one font color, which you'll do inside of Reva Tuner later on. So I click mine to be modern motto, and then I click mine to be text, text graph, or text plus the graph. Now, depending on what you want to do and what you want to show on your screen, I would actually do texting for text for most for let's say temperature and usage and the only one I would use for the actual graph in my personal case would be the frame rate and also the frame time now these ones are very very useful to show what it is and how smooth your actual gameplay would be so I would keep these I keep these enabled and as well as like I said temp CPU temperature and the usage itself to make sure that you know I'm actually using and utilizing my actual system that I currently have so after that is all set you want to go ahead and open Reva Tuner. Now, Reva Tuner does not have enabling to actually be inside of Afterburner. So, you actually have to click and go and find Reva Tuner itself because it is a different software. So, obviously, I just clicked up start button, go to Reva, type in Reva, and then you see here Reva Tuner statistic server. Now, if it does, if this window does not show up, you actually have to look into your taskbar and see if it's actually in the taskbar here and see exactly if it's in there. So, go ahead and click it, and this window will show up. Now, this window shows up because this is for the actual statistics and what you want to show so obviously like it says show on screen display is on make sure that is on if you want to start it up with windows go ahead uh, application detection level i leave it to low because i don't want it to have basically any of the actual like you know the game itself considering it like a cheat or a vac ban or anything like that you want to make sure that you don't want to get any of those so stealth mode is on and the custom direct 3d support just to make sure that Every game is supported and whatnot. If it does not work, you can turn these off too, but turning it on has helped me to basically do it for every single game play for most for most of it not all of it but that's one that I use obviously on-screen display support you want to turn that on uh, viewpoint frame buffer I don't really change as much so on, on display the screen shadow so this shadow just basically makes the font a little bit better to see on particular games because sometimes it doesn't want to see it correctly 
You can zoom it in. You can change the font, zoom in. You can change the palette itself if you want to change the color. I personally just use a pink color because it pretty much mostly shows up in most games. It shows up on screen depending on what particular color and what's happening on, on the actual gameplay. Uh, Counter-Strike, for example, I use the same as that color scheme because the crosshair can be seen on most areas in my example. So we're going to start up a game here and we'll see what happens. Okay, so right now this is in the game of Gears of War 4. This is a UWP Windows 10 exclusive. This game does Dawn Red Reva Tuner with the updated version. And as you notice here, this in the screen here, GPU, Mem Clock, DirectX 12 is what this is called, CPU, frame, RAM, frame rate, frame time. This is what I have shown in the options of MSI Afterburner. And then Reva Tuner does the job of actually showing it on the actual on screen display. So this is how it works. Um, this is, I don't know why my game is being kind of iffy right now, but that's the point. This is just showing you how it works in, the, in this particular game. Okay, so this is Forza Motorsport 7. Uh, the game is, the full game is actually fully out right now, but this is just the demo version. But this is what the game is. Same idea with Gears of War 4. Same idea, GPU, Mem Clock, DirectX 12. Just showing you how it is, particularly for how it shows up on this game. And my game froze, but that's not the point here. But anyways, that's just showing you two different games that actually shows the actual gameplay and how Riva Tuner is very helpful, and as well as after MSI Afterburner to show these on-screen display specs of the GPU and things. So hope you guys enjoyed this video and tutorial. I hope to see you in the next one. Let me know in the comment section down below if you still need more help, or you can hit me up at Twitter at Diamond Rice. I have to head out, so I will see you soon. Later.